What's going on guys, FA2 Mick here. Um, now in today's video, what I'm gonna be doing is coding my car, um, so the E46 uh, compact with Carly. Now, first of all, I'd like to give a massive, massive shout out to o Oles, along with Carly for making this possible. So they actually reached out to me and they gave me membership and sent me out an adapter. So thanks so much for that guys, I really, really appreciate it. So, all these, I'll just start off with the adapter. So, it just came in this box. So, just pop that open. And as you can see there, there's just a little message, just obviously welcoming you to the product. So, really, really good. Put that to the side. And then under that, there is the actual Carly kit. Well, the adapter, sorry. So, damn. <laughs> That's just dropped out. So this is what it looks like, and then obviously that's where you stick it in the OBD. It's two indicator lights, and then there's like that design, which I, I do like. It's nice and streamlined. So what I'm going to do is plug this into the E46, and then obviously start coding. But I'll open that up on my phone. Yes, guys. So. Um, I've started the app up now, so what I'm going to do is uh, obviously just screen record it for you guys. So I'll just start that now. Yeah, that started now. So just before I get into it, um, Carly, all it is, it's a coding app, so a bit like Vimmer Code, but with Carly, it is well, it's for more cars essentially. So uh, with Vimmer Code, you can only code uh, F series models. Um, so like my F32, uh, the new the new models, so the G series, um, I series, so I8 and I3, the Supra as well, and I believe some late late E9X cars. So I think uh, don't quote me on this. Uh, you can uh, code the E92, but it has to be like a late model. But yeah, with Carly literally there's so much models and it's not just bmw as well so if you do if you've got like a volkswagen so anything from like uh, the volkswagen audi group so volkswagen uh audi sia um what else is there in that group um, i'm always getting at them um skoda but yeah anything under that group along with other manufacturers as well you're able to code um with this app also it's not just a coder so you can fault read so if anything happens to your car, like engine management light come on, you'll be able to see exactly uh, what the situation is. Also, you can clear the codes as well. So um, it's really, really good. Um, obviously, with this um, service, there is a yearly fee, plus you have to buy the adapter as well. So you can download the app from the App Store or the Google Play Store. Um, the adapter as well, you'll be able to purchase that as well. Um, but yeah, um, let's just get into the app then. So. I'm going to connect to the car now. So I've already put the OBD in. I'm gonna press connect as you can see. Oh yeah, I already connected it anyway. So you just normally press that connect button and then it will show the car there. So let me just click off. Just gone onto dashboard now. So let me have a look here, I'm just scrolling. So, so this, this is literally a first time for myself as well. So what I'm gonna do is go to customization. Yep, make sure the battery's okay. I know my battery's perfectly fine, so I'm gonna click battery's okay. So Carly's just running a check now just to see what's actually coldable on the car. Yeah, as you can see there. So, Obviously, it's an E46 look, compact, so there's not going to be much to obviously code like that. So, we have a look here. And that's good as well. What it also does is uh, it creates a backup just in case something that does actually go wrong. So, here we are now, I've gone into the GM5 module, but it looks like it's to do with like the alarm system, so anti-theft alarm system, that's on, don't want to obviously turn that off, optical confirmation, 
unlocking vehicle so I'm gonna turn that on what else here and locking the vehicle we'll turn that on as well audible audible confirmation so that'll be the beep and beep beep uh, like what I've got on my F32 that is a must for me so I'm gonna put that on and when you're locking the vehicle as well after complete audio com confirmation after complete closing and um, I'll turn that on yeah that's already on the alarm sound so if you have it continuous it will just go on and on and on um, if it's interval um, what will happen is that I think the uh, sounds will actually change so we'll just leave that as, as it is alarm sound long I don't even know what that is <laughs> So oh, that's interesting. So with the alarm, um, you can set it so when you, when the well, in the event of the alarm going off, uh, the lights will flash with it as well. So what I'll do is I'll switch it on. I'll switch on the high beams with that. Interior space monitoring definitely you always have that on. I'll have that on for the rear as well, definitely. Tilt sensor for alarm on. Center lock. Let me just have a quick read over that. Obviously, you guys can see this as well. Yeah, that's fine. I'll have that on. We'll just turn off the heater. That's fine. There's so much things under this module, it's actually crazy. with locks and remote yeah I'll have that so if the alarm does go off I'll be able to um, stop it with the key fob as normal and with the physical key as well let me just see what else there is so much options here What is that secondary unlock? Selective central lock here. Unlock arm once. Unlock the drive. Unlock the driver's door. Unlock it again. Um, with that, I've got that on my F82. Um, I don't know whether to put that on or not. You know what? I'll turn it on. <laughs> I'll definitely turn it on. So I do. Yeah, with the automatically, automatically lock vehicle, I'll definitely put that on. Oh yeah, definitely. Uh, with this option, um, you, when you drive off, the door, the car doors will obviously just lock. So I'll turn that on. Yeah, that's perfect. Unfortunately, I don't have electric folding mirrors, so I'm not able to code any of those in. There's so many options on this, it's crazy. is continuing I'm really sorry if I'm silent I'm literally just going through that so I've got everything that I need now in this module so what I'm just gonna do is press code yeah and then that's just gonna code the car now so there you go uh, coding was successful please turn the ignition on off and on again 
please do not update the car software even if update notifications appeared on the car during coding the app would not be able to code the car after the update so that's fine so I'll just press ok and then you turn the ignition off and then you put it back on again that's perfect so before I just back out of there and we go to lights so that's uh, LSZ so read from car obviously as I said create a backup first of all just in case anything does go wrong you can always revert back um, to your stock form so still creating it and that's done so uh, let's have a look here US side markers definitely a big big fat no no like that's just not happening at all I hate them completely hate them uh, US side marker rate lights uh, I don't know whether um, with the tail lights, I don't know whether you would just switch them on as like rear, rear DRLs like what I've got on the F32. I can see it's on, but yeah, um, well I'll just leave that as it is. Daytime running lights, well do so I'll, I'll switch that on actually, uh, it's a 2 of 2 on 1 of 2, they can go on. Daytime running light brightness. I'll put that as medium. Hazard lights. Let me I'll change that to double. Crash lights double as well. And I'm just having a look here. Brake force display, interested. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have that on. Just seeing what the options are here. not quite sure what it means with like the brake force display about one or five two or five three or five because obviously there's only the tail lights there and the uh, middle light at the top so don't really know what it's on about there but I think what I'll just do is I'll go on one of five and I'll just put that on actually no I know what it means I know exactly what it means so you can have it will just flash once twice three times four times five times so let me just take off the one time so i'll turn it off again and i'll go on to five which is oh that was already selected anyway so that's perfect card doesn't have angel eyes but i may actually fit them i don't know yet And yeah that's it for that section so what I'm gonna do is code the car understood and agreed it's always just a disclaimer you get that with most coding apps anyway so that's just coding in yeah so that's okay so turn it off and on again and that's fully coded so I can come out of that now it's perfect and yeah um, with this car well with this app sorry as you can see there's mileage information fault information let me have a look at the mileage well oh no that's just the insights tab but you can um, check it for the car you can also go over at health check as well on live data so let me just switch the car on As you can see there, so if you press the live data, yeah, you can just read that there. So I'll show it again. Continue to live data, select parameter, 
Uh, what can I go with? I don't even know. Ambient temperature. Don't know how this works. Start read out. So yeah, as you can see, it's obviously doing its thing, scanning the car and telling me exactly what the situation is. So yeah, it's um, it's really really good. So. As I said, this app is really just an all-rounder, so you can obviously code your car, um, whether that being like the Volkswagen Audi Group or BMWs. Um, we've also got di diagnostics, uh, so you can diagnose what's wrong with the car. Um, you can also clear your codes as well. So yeah, like if you want to retrofit like headlights, I know to retro retrofit the uh, what's it called the Xenons to this car. It would throw up an error naturally because the car would still think that I've got halogen bulbs when instead it's uh, Xenon. So obviously I could code the car to, to tell it that you know to run the Xenons and I won't get a fault code. But yeah, um, that is Carly in a nutshell for this car. Obviously, depending on your actual car, um, you're gonna have more options or less than mine. With the, I know with the F32, I'll definitely have a lot more, and I'm gonna make a video on that anyway. Um, but yeah, guys, um, I know it's been a less, less entertaining video than what I'd normally make. Um, but it's obviously just putting this product out there because um, it's, it's a really good product, like hands down. Um, but yeah, if you guys did enjoy that, please um, subscribe to the channel. Um, as, as I said in my previous videos, I hit over 2,000 um, subs and I'm highly, highly thankful. Um, I don't know what to say. <laughs> It's crazy, the, the, growth is, the growth is really, really good. Um, but yeah, please like the video, um, share it around to your friends, um, if they have common interests in BMWs, cars. Um, and yeah, like the video now, guys. I'll catch you on a, another video. Bye.